Hello, Sarah Smalley, uh, 3093 Pawtucket Avenue. Um, at the risk of being tarred and feathered, I am actually speaking up for the rezone. Um, and I'm doing this actually because I care about conservation and global warming and green space. Um, my concern is that if the council votes no, this does not guarantee that the parcel will be kept the same. Um, there's no legally enforceable way for the city to require Marshall to maintain this as a golf, a golf course or a green space. Um, unfortunately, under the current zone, it is developable. Uh, developable. Um, at the heart of this decision, as I see it, is a gamble. On one hand, there are 50 plus acres that are part of this proposal in section C and B that we stand to lose if council votes no, and these actually happen to be the same 50 acres that are going to be abutting all of these neighboring properties. Um, I absolutely am in agreement with the needs of environmental and cl uh, climate change changes in our laws, particularly the concerns mentioned by Senator Mendez and the EP Urban Forest. Um, and we definitely need a resiliency plan, an updated zoning, comprehensive bet plan, all of that stuff. But unfortunately, the laws we ought to have protecting nature is not the laws that we currently have. The rea reality of where we find ourselves today is a zoning decision. A petition to rezone um, is an opportunity for council to put restrictions and limitations on the development in the new zoning ordinance. The petition uh, with the recommendations from the planning board includes a lot of fantastic wins for our community that I don't think should just so easily be cast aside when the alternative is unknown development under the current zone. Thank you. Thank you.